Have you ever noticed that Olympic ice skaters will always bring their arms in when they go for a jump and spin, and then they bring their arms back out when they're finished with the spin? Why do they do that? Well, I'm going to demonstrate the principle behind it using this rotating platform, which you might call a Lazy Susan. And I'm going to stand on it, holding these two masses in various locations, and you're going to see exactly why Olympic ice skaters do what they do. It all comes down to something called conservation of angular momentum. So angular momentum is the momentum that objects have when they're spinning or rotating. And so if I have this mass near my body, watch what happens when I go for a spin. Whoa, I'm going very fast. And then when I bring it out, my speed really slows down and it comes to a stop very quickly. So why is that? Well, it's because angular momentum has two parts. One of the parts is called moment of inertia. And moment of inertia is a measure of how much the mass is brought away from the axis of rotation. So if I'm rotating around this axis, the further away I bring the mass, the greater the moment of inertia is. The other part of angular momentum is angular velocity, which is how fast you're spinning. And it turns out the greater your moment of inertia, or the further away you move mass from the center of the axis, the lower your angular velocity must be. So in other words, the more I bring these out away from my body, the slower I spin. But as I bring these in and my moment of inertia goes down, what happens? Well, the angular velocity has to go up. So the closer these are to my body, the faster I spin, and the further apart they are, the slower I spin. That's conservation of angular momentum. Oh, and here's one more cool application of moments of inertia. Have you ever been to the circus and seen those tightrope walkers just walking on a little thin rope and they're carrying these big sticks with them and those sticks stretch out in, all di in both directions very, very long. So why do they have such a long stick with them? How does that help with balance? Well, remember, by having a long stick, you are pushing mass away from your center, right? So the axis of rotation, which is in the middle, now has a bunch of mass pushed off in both directions. And what does that do? It decreases the likelihood of rotation. It increases the moment of inertia, which makes it less likely for that tightrope walker to actually fall down. Pretty cool, huh?